going to buy but I want you to turn and we're going to go to a, a second Corinthians 5 and 17. It is familiar scripture. You've heard it many times. And if I were used for a, a message title today, it would be Christ who is now in your life because you died. Mm. Oh my. Yes, yes, yes. Christ, who is now your life because you died. You died. Second Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, yes. he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you and I died with Christ, mind you, I said if. Yeah. <laughs> if we died with Christ and was buried with Christ and rose with him, you should now, we should now live in our new identity in Christ. Amen. We should be living a new identity in Christ because that scripture says all things have passed away and all things have become new. And what became new brought in a new identity. A new identity. There are scriptures that remind you, remind me of our new identity. When you died, when I died, I rose with him. So you have gained a brand new identity. You have gained gifts and callings and above all, a name, a child of the Father, and our Father is Father God. There are so many who have discovered, <laughs> now they have not discovered yet, uh -huh. I should say, who we are in Christ Jesus. And they're still trying to live out of the old nature. And the old nature doesn't go with the new identity. So it brings on a lot of confusion sometimes. It brings on a lot of extra heartache and an extra, an extra pain because we're trying to live two lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romans 5 and 8, and you don't have to turn there, but mark it. He says, while you were still lost and ungodly, God proved his love by sending his son Jesus who died in your place. Amen. Talk about new identity now. God loved us so much that he would send his son to die in our place to pay the penalties for sin that we might have a new identity. Amen. And it is something that that opportunity is so available and people still miss it. Mm -hmm. New identity in Christ. He says, while we were still lost and ungodly. I'm going to get to this, but you know, I was reading something about the book of life. And the names that are already written there. You know, people would say, well, you know, the God is love. Why in the world would he send anyone to hell? No, he wrote everyone's name in the book of life. From the foundation of the world, he wrote the name. But what happens is, the name is there, but the name can be blotted out. Okay? And I tell you what, I'm determined that my name will not be blotted out. Can you imagine the world as it is now, going and doing and going and going and going and doing and God has given he, for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him 
could have eternal yes. life, yes. but yet they missed the message. Jesus. They missed the opportunity. Not understanding that their name is written there and it requires them to become to Christ and receive what he has done. Wow. Wow. Believe what he has done. Believe Good. that he says, I gave my life yeah. for you. Yes. I gave my all for you. You trust me. You can't do it. You don't even have to work it. It's not a work that you can do. It's a gift that you receive. Yes. 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 It's a oh gift. Jesus. It's a gift that you receive. That's good. So he said, I say here, you should live in your new identity in Christ. Why? Because you are no longer a slave. You're no longer a slave to sin, and you're no longer a slave under the law. You're no longer a slave under the law. You are now a son yes. or a daughter. Yes. You are now an heir who can have, who can access everything that the Father has through Jesus the Messiah. Yes, amen. Always trying, we always trying to work it out. Oh, in time to come, I'm going to get better. <laughs> oh, in time to come, this will happen. He says, it's already a finished work. Yes, How many times are we pleading and begging for God to do something who is a loving and caring father? And he says, I've already done it for you as a child. Yes. He says, what you need to do is know the promises. Go to the word of God and say, Lord, I receive that in the name of Jesus because I'm an heir and it belongs to me. Yes. It's mine. I don't have to work for it. I don't have to be good for 20 days in order to receive it because I'm an heir and because I'm a child of God, it already belongs to me. It's already mine. Thank you, God. Oh, God, maybe if I pray for three hours. Oh, God, maybe if I fast for ten weeks. Oh, God, but the fasting is not for God to do something. It's for us to come to understand what God has already yes. done. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. It's for the change within us. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. You are now a son or a daughter, and you are an heir who can have access to everything the Father has through Jesus the Messiah. Read Galatians 4 and 7 because that's where that came from. John 15 and 15 says, you should live in your new identity uh -huh. Uh -huh. because you are important to God. You are important to God. Your body is now the temple. The temple. Your body is now the yes. temple of yes. the spirit of holiness, and he lives in you. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. yes. Why? Because you've been bought with a price. Yes. Jesus. Yes. You, you, you were bought with a price. You no longer belong to yourself. You are God's yes. gift. Yes. 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 Bought with blood. Yes. God's gift. Your body was bought, bought to bring glory to his name. Amen. When we come into the house of the Lord and you know the Lord as your Lord and Savior, oh, yeah. it shouldn't be a problem for you to lift your hand yeah. and say, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I give you glory yeah. because you're my father yeah. and I'm a child. Yes. I'm an heir. Yeah. I've been bought. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Jesus. And I am now in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Should be a problem. Should be a task. Oh, glory to God. You should live in your new identity. You're not coming into it. I read so many times, and sometimes I get so tired. I'm coming into a blessing. What about I'm coming into a provision that He's already given? Amen. I got to wait on my blessing. 
My blessing is God. He has I, he says, I have already blessed you. I have already blessed you. That's what a thanksgiving comes in. God, thank you for what you've already given. I'm not talking about the provision he provides. He gives us the, the skills and the, the intelligence and the knowledge to be able to work and gain and get those things. But in him is what I'm talking about. God, I give you glory for who you are and what you have done for me. Who you are and who I am in you. Oh, glory to God. This new life began when you were born again by the Holy Spirit. That's when it started. That's why I said, if, if, if you've been born again, you can claim the new identity. If, if you've been born again. Because then, and if you, you, you've been born again, you're going to walk in the obedience. If you have been born, let me say that one more time. If you have been born again, you will walk in obedience or you will be a miserable person. Yes. A son, a daughter, a born again believer. You now live in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in you. And the Holy Spirit lives in you to complete the work. He is the one who completes the work in us. You don't do the works. Oh, glory to God. Sing all you want to. Lead, praise, and worship all you want to. If you consider to be a work, sit down. Not working for your soul salvation. It's a free gift from God. You are you are offering to Him a sacrifice. A thanksgiving, a sacrifice, a praise unto him. Now working out your soul salvation. Uh -huh. Free gift. <laughs> Bought, paid for. My Lord. Given. If you will receive it. Mm -hmm. If you will be obedient to what he says here. You do not do the works. It's the works of of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, right. How often have we read that? And yeah. He came, he went, and he, he sent back gifts yes. through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. He sent back gifts. Yes. The Bible says the Spirit of the Lord moves upon those whomever he desires. Yes. He works. He doesn't work. Romans 8 28 says, we can live in our new identity because we've been called to fulfill his divine design purpose. It's God's divine, it's God's design purpose. It's God's perfect plan. It's God's good plan. He says, I know the plan that I have for you. He says, they're good. He says, I want to do you good and not evil. God's perfect plan. You are like a lover to God. Uh -huh. And he loves him when we love back and we love on him. Oh, yes, he does. Because we're children. And Romans 8 and 1 says, and there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. You say condemnation. What do you mean, Apostle? Condemnation. It's no strong mm -hmm. disapproval. Mm -hmm. No condemning someone to a punishment. Uh -huh. To pronounce them guilty. To a sentence of punishment or judgments against them. So he says that there is now no condemnation 
but those who are in Christ Jesus. The only thing that the devil can do is accuse you. That's it. That's all he can do is just accuse you. And how often do we grow up and get scared and shake and tremble? Oh, the devil. Amen. Come on, Father. Instead of resisting him yeah. and telling him who we are, yeah. just as a reminder to him who we are in Christ Jesus. Yeah. See, we've been redeemed. There's a song that says, I am redeemed. Bought with a Christ. We used to sing that song. Redemption is the action of regaining or gaining a possession of something in exchange for a payment or the clearing of the debt. Clearing of the debt. Clearing. Clear. Yes, clear. Hallelujah. Pay for. Hallelujah. Pay for. When we come. Even in your home, when you're driving down the road, wherever you are, and especially when you come into the assembly, we ought to be, if you said it today, it's a privilege. Yes, it is. It's a privilege to be able to come into the knowledge of the truth of yes. who we are in Christ Jesus and then live it. Yes, yes. Then live it. I know who I am. You said, Apostle, how many times you going to tell I'm telling it because I had to erase some things that have been given down through the years. Mm. Where people felt like they had to do all these different things. Mm -hmm. They even got it mixed up when it came to a minister of the word of God. I minister from the spirit. Mm -hmm. You look at me, yes, I have the hair of a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Features of a woman. But if you look at me and, and see that I'm ministering to you from a woman, you're a mistake. That's true. Uh -huh. It's the Spirit of God inside of me. Thank you, Jesus. That's why he said, now there are no genders. Uh -huh. That's why he said there are no, there are no races because there's one spirit, one spirit, and it's the Spirit of God. It's the yeah. Holy Spirit yeah. that ministers. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Yes. Do you get it? Yes. yes. You get it? So it doesn't bother me when people don't accept me. Uh -huh. Amen. Because I know who I am in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. I know that I've been born again from the Spirit of God. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. And His Spirit lives inside of me. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Lord. His Spirit talks to me, God. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I worship him in yes. spirit and in truth. Yes. I love his word. Yes. I love who I am in him. Yes. I love where he brought me from uh -huh. when I was in darkness and I didn't understand yes. who I was in him. Yes. And I was trying to do all these things. Yes. And I was trying to be what somebody said over here, be like this. Somebody over here said, no, be like this. My Lord. Somebody said, be like this. And I said, oh, Lord. How can I be all these I things? How, how can I dress enough to look holy enough for the oh, Lord to love me? Oh, how, how can I take off enough jewelry? Oh, glory. For God to love me. Not realizing in the word of God, he'd already done it before the foundation. Yeah. Before. So coming to the knowledge of the truth, I said, Lord, I don't want anyone to miss it. Yes. Because I want them to live in the fullness of the life of who they are in Christ because yes. they have received yes. the word of God. Yes, yes. Understand that these little things that we go through every day, the persecution, those things, they are normal because we still have an earthly body. Mm -hmm. And we're subject to those things that are, 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 are around us in the earth. But oh, glory to God. I have a spirit. You have a spirit that will one day, my Lord. Jesus. One day, my Lord. One day. Woo. See, we worship him now in the spirit. Yes. Woo. But glory to God. One, one day. day. One day. One day. One day. We're going to worship him face to face. Face to face. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. One day, Lord. 
one day. One day. New life in Christ. Yeah. The Holy Spirit living inside you. Living inside. Redeemed. Bought with a price. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews, if you if you want to know more about who he is, just read the book of Hebrews. I'll read the whole book. But let me tell you, from Hebrews 12 and 23, it says, you have come to the assembly of God's firstborn children. Mm -hmm. I said earlier, whose names are written in heaven. Mm -hmm. You have come to God himself, who is the judge of all people. And you have come to the spirits of the redeemed in heaven, who have now been made perfect. They stayed on course. Amen. Stayed on course. They ran the race. Yes. Got to the finish line. Amen. Yes. See, as believers now, we're not entering into another covenant. See, in the Old Testament, Moses had to go into a covenant with God. Uh-huh. He was a leader. And he had to go to the mountain to meet with God. Mm-hmm. But since a children of God, we come to the assembly. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Oh, glory yes. to God. Yes. We come to the assembly of God because, see, we are still, we're, we're the firstborn. We're, now, Jesus Christ is the true firstborn, but yes. we're the firstborn of okay. sons of God yes. through Christ Jesus. Amen. We are the congregation. We are the church, if you want to call it that. The gathering who has been called out for God, by God, for a special purpose mm-hmm. of loving, loving him. Amen. Oh, God, have you loved on him this day? Amen. Have you just lifted your hands and just yes. loved on him? Yes. yes. Firstborn, sons, daughters, just love on him. Walk in obedience obedience to his word. Thank you, God. As children. Don't you just love your obedient children in your household? (laughs) When you tell them to clean that room, they say, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. (laughs) On my way. (laughs) Obedient. (laughs) Just love <laughs> Gathering, called out, called out yes, by God for a special purpose of loving and obeying uh-huh. and worshiping God yes, yes. in spirit yes. and in truth. Yes, in truth. Thank you, Lord. See, we're not even we're not even separated anymore from the angels. You remember when we first came back, the angels decided they wanted to come in. Uh-huh. They're still here. Uh-huh. We just can't see them in a visual sense. But they, you know why? Because every time we began to praise yes. God, there was rejoicing yes. because they're praising God too. Yes. Uh-huh. So we're not praising God alone. The angels are praising God along with us and we're praising God along with them. We're no longer separated from the angels. But we join in with them in praising God. In praising God. Isn't that something like Moses? We We don't need an intermediate person in the middle. We can come to God himself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Isn't that something? You don't have to go to a priest and begin to confess all these things. You can go to God himself. Yes. For yourself. Mm-hmm. What would it look like one of your children telling another child, go to my mom or my dad <laughs> and tell them I'm hungry. (laughs) 
for ourselves. We, be, we became uh, members of God's family. Get that today. You are members of God's family. God's family. God's family. And you can approach God, our Father, at any time. Any time. We can make our habit. And it should become, yes, amen. It should become a habit. I thank you for the big things and I thank you for the little amen. things. Amen. I almost dropped a bowl of food the other day and just finished cooking it. And can you imagine what would happen and how it would have felt? Had all that work and all that stuff been just and I call it. You know the first thing I said? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. 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 Thank, you Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And I find myself, and I'm, I rejoice in that. Amen. Because I can thank him in the, if it's, yes. it's what we consider big. God's big is not like how it is. Even the little things. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. We have free access to God. Through Christ himself. Yes. Through Christ himself. Yes. We can go to him. Talk to him. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Thank As you. children, I pray that that's our testimony. Amen. Lord, every day, not only when I get up and find out that I'm still alive, do I thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, Lord, I thank you for protecting me for the things I didn't see, I didn't know, I didn't yes. hear yes. that were around me. God, I just yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. I am a citizen now in the kingdom. Yes. One time we talked about having dual citizenship. Uh -huh. Earthly for the earthly body, but spiritual for the spiritual body. Yes. Yes. Our citizenship is in heaven. Yes. And we are enjoying the blessings of heaven while we're still here on earth. earth. That's right. Because earth is not a home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a temporary place. <laughs> we should live in our new identity. Our citizens. Heaven. Citizens. Because we are registered there and Amen. our names are being recorded. Amen. Registered Amen. and recorded. And recorded. Oh, glory to God. Now you ought to say amen. 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 You ought to be getting out of bit maybe to give God the glory and praise right here. Amen. Registered amen. and recorded. Amen. And I have no intentions whatsoever. Amen. If I've been born again, it's not going to be removed because you know what? I can't be judged. So what you say, Apostle? No. You know why? Because of Jesus. Uh-uh. Now, can I, can I deny him? Yes. And move out? Yes. Say I never knew him? Yes. Oh, yes, I can. But in my little times that I that I fall sometimes. Jesus. Jesus. Sometimes when I mess up. Uh -huh. Oh, glory to God. Uh -huh. I mess up sometimes. Uh -huh. I don't always, and you don't always get it right. Sometimes the very thoughts that come are not good thoughts. Jesus. But oh, glory to God. God's not judging and saying, I got to write you off. That's right. Thank Thank you, Jesus. That's not what he's saying. He's saying that that's my child. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I've already, because you've been born again, I already see your heart. Yes. 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 Thank you. I already know that you were a little bit overpowered. Yes. Yeah. Overshadowed. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Blinded. Jesus. Sometimes in a hurry. Ah, yes, yes. Sometimes didn't have time to think it through. But God says, Oh glory, I see the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see the blood. And when I see the blood, 
Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to pass over to you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. What a privilege. What a privilege. What a privilege. Yes. What a privilege. If you're not happy, I wish I could preach you happy. I wish I could pour out the joy. Jesus. Oh, glory to God. That it would stir your spirit so that you would say, Lord, I'm so glad that I died. Lord, I'm so glad that I've been born again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.